In the food processing category, there is no prize in this award category. We have a second prize in the sector, which goes to Perfetti Van Mel India Private Limited for Rao Haryana. Sri Ramesh Jayaraman, Managing Director, will receive the prize. We now move on to the foundry sector. We only have one prize in the sector. The first prize in the sector is being awarded to Central Foundry and Ford Unit, Bharat Heavy Electricals, Haridwar, Uttarakhand. The unit is being saving on at least 676 lakhs. Sri B.P. Rao, Chairman and Managing Director, will receive the prize. We now move on to the general category, ladies and gentlemen. The first prize goes to Rajasthan Electronics and Instruments Limited, Jaipur, in Rajasthan. Sri A.K. Jain, Managing Director, will receive the prize on behalf of the company. In the general category of the subsectors of EC Awards, the first prize goes to Ordnance Factory, Dum Dum Kolkata in West Bengal. May I request Sri Vinod Kumar Singh, General Manager, to receive the prize. In the general category of subsectors of EC Awards, the second prize goes to Belapur Railway Station Commercial Company Limited, Navi Mumbai, Maharashtra. Shitanaji Vittal Satre, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, will receive the prize. In the glass category, the first prize in this sector goes to Hindustan National Glass and Industries Limited, Jhajjar in Haryana, with the savings of 1,520 lakhs. May I request Sri CK Somani, Chairman, to receive the prize. The second prize goes to Owens Corning India Limited, Raigarh in Maharashtra. Sri Anandya Ghosh, General Manager, is invited to receive the prize. In the integrated steel plant sector, we have only one prize. The first prize is being awarded to Jindal Steel and Power Limited, Raigarh in Chhattisgarh. The plant has recorded an annual energy savings of Rs. 4,382 lakhs. Sri Atul Kumar Mishra, Executive Director, will receive the award. In the paper and pulp category, we have one prize in the sector. The first prize goes to Sirpur Paper Mills Limited, Kazaknagar, Andhra Pradesh. The plant has recorded an annual energy saving of Rs. 643 lakhs. May I request Sri Davish Poddar, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, to receive the prize. In the petrochemicals category, goes to Panipat Napta Cracker Panipat Refinery, Panipat Haryana. Sri Rajkumar Ghosh, Director of Refineries, receives the prize. The first prize in the plastics category is being awarded to Max Speciality Films. In Punjab, the unit has recorded an annual energy saving of 751 lakhs. Sri Sudhir Kumar, Mahathir Chief Executive Officer, receives the prize. The second prize is being awarded to Jason Polymer Private Limited Thane in Maharashtra. Sri Lakshman Narayan Jadav, Managing Director, will receive the award. In the refinery category, the first prize is being awarded to Haldia Refinery Indian Oil Corporation Limited Haldia in West Bengal. The savings made by this unit are to the tune of 1,115 lakhs. I call upon Rajkumar Ghosh, Director of Refinery, to receive the prize. The second prize is also being awarded to Indian Oil Corporation Limited Assam Oil Division, Digboy Refinery District, Tunsiki Assam. Mr. Rajkumar Ghosh, Director of Refinery, is to receive the prize. In the steel re-rolling, we only have one prize in the sector and there is no first prize in the award category. The second prize in this category goes to Jindal Stainless Limited, Kisar in Haryana. I call upon Subhash Garg, General Manager, Energy Auditor and Energy, to receive the award. Manufacturers of B-Star labeled appliances, there are four award categories in this sector. In the air conditioning category, the first prize is being awarded to Panasonic India Limited, Gurgaon in Haryana, for its contribution to market transformation of this product. Sri Manish Sharma, Managing Director, receives the prize. In the refrigerator category, the first prize is being awarded to Samsung India Electronics Limited, Noida, Uttar Pradesh. Sri Ishan Jain, Energy Research and Development Division, receives the prize. In the agriculture pump set category, we have only one prize is being awarded to CRI Pump Private Limited, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. For its contribution and market transformation of the product, Sri G. Selvara, Joint Managing Director, receives the prize. In the storage water heater category, I call upon Sri L.K. Medirata, Senior President, Water Heaters, to receive the first prize on behalf of Rakhol Therma Limited, District Pune in Maharashtra, for its contribution in market transformation of the product. The second prize goes to A.O. Smith India Water Heating Limited, Ramnagara Karnataka, Sri Kamal Chaudhary, Managing Director, is to receive the prize.
Thank you very much, Honourable President. Thank you very much, distinguished dignitaries on the stage. With this, we come to the end of the award distribution ceremony. And we'd once like to thank the President once again. Let's give him a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now indeed a privilege and an honor for me in requesting Sri Pranab Mukherjee, the President, to kindly deliver his address, please. Honorable Minister, Sri Jyotiraj Tem Sindhya, Secretary to the Ministry of Power, Sri P. Uma Shankar, Chairperson, Central Electricity Authority, Sri A. S. Bakshi, Srimati Jyoti Aurora, Director General, Board of Energy Efficiency and Joint Secretary, Ministry of Power, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear children. It gives me great pleasure to be here on the occasion of the presentation of the National Energy Conservation Awards 2012. These awards go a long way in spreading the message of energy conservation in society. There must be increased understanding of the fact that the path to a more sustainable future will require our society to make a better balance between its energy consumption vis-a-vis -vis cost and availability. I congratulate the award winners from various industries for working together with the government in its endeavor to promote sustainable development. I am equally glad to see the participation by little children in the painting competition organized to spread the message of energy conservation through their simple and colorful paintings. I extend my heartiest congratulation to all the children. Environmental concerns today occupy the center stage of global discourse, yet our journey towards pursuing a truly sustainable path towards development has just begun. Energy consumption in India is expected to double over the next two decades in line with the growth requirements of the economy. A GDP growth at the annual average rate, average rate of 8.2% during the 12th plan period and at 9% at the terminal plan year of the same plan period requires substantial quantum of energy. India occupies the fourth place in the world in energy consumption after USA, China and Russia. But the country is not endowed with abundant energy resources required for sustaining such levels of consumption. 